Hello dear pupils, welcome to the house of knowledge. My name is Gusein Mijadoic. I am an English teacher and I am very glad to help you with improving your language skills. We have received questions on the topic of video lesson you watched. So our webinar includes answers to the most common questions. And the topic for today is formal letters. Uh, as you might remember, our previous webinar was also on this topic, but today we are to mention some points that are of high importance. The advancement in technology and the extensive use of emails has reduced the frequency of formal letters being written and dispatched. However, still there are some letters which are significant to write like the ones which are written for job applications, requests for service, questionnaires that are a part of a search you are conducting or letters of inquiry or complaint written to a bank manager. All of these fall under the category of formal letter writing. So, how to write an effective formal letter? It is very significant that the formal letter which you write has a desired impact on the recipient. For achieving this, the following simple rules should be followed. The letter must be written in the appropriate format. Formal letter should be clear, concise and to the point. Only relevant information should be written. Avoid all kinds of spelling and grammatical errors. The tone of the formal letter should be courteous, even if it is written for a complaint. The letter must be well presented. What is a formal letter format? While writing formal letter, it should be kept in mind that a proper formal letter format needs to be followed throughout the letter. This is because the recipient of the letter will expect you to follow a few conventions and not following them will create a bad impact. Following is standard formal letter format. Writing your address. The address of the sender is written on the top right side of the letter. This doesn't include the name of the sender. Uh, his contact number or email address. Details of the recipient. The recipient's name and address are written below the sender's address on the left-hand side of the letter. If the name of the recipient is unknown, then a title or designation is sufficient. If possible, a formal letter must always refer to a specific person. Mentioning date. The date on which the letter is written can either be written on the right side or left side of the letter and is mostly mentioned under the address. There is flexibility in terms of the of the format of the letter. The following formats are pl applicable. 1st January 2016, 1st January 2016, 1st January 2016. Just look at the format and remember, choose the one you like and you can use it in your in your letters. Salutations. The letter begins with a salutation. This is determined by the fact that the name of the recipient is known to you or not. If the name is known, then the formal letter begins with Dear Mr. Jones, Dear Mrs. Jones or Dear Miss Sarah. However, if the status of a woman is unknown to you, then you can write Dear Miss Sarah. If the person is a doctor, then I refer to the title of the person by saying Dear Dr. Jones. On the other hand, if the name of the person is unknown, then you can write simply Dear Sir, Madam, etc. Subject of the letter. Usually the subject of a formal letter is written below the salutation. It must be underlined and bold. The reason for writing this is to give the recipient of the letter an idea about what the letter is going to say so that it may be forwarded to the concern, department or person. If the letter is being written as a reply or response to a previous letter, then the subject must be include uh, then the subject must include the word reference of ref or ref. Formal letter content. The content of letter must be very concise and clear to keep the reader engaged. For this purpose, the letter should be divided into clear cut and short paragraphs to retain the attention. Ending the letter. A formal letter usually concludes with a line saying looking forward to your response. This is not necessary to write, however, it is a good to mention this is if this if you are expecting a prompt response from the reader. This is followed by the term yours sincerely if the name of the person is known to you. Well, rules rules to follow in formal letter writing. There are some general rules to be followed while writing formal letters. 
relevancy and conciseness. It may be a case that person whom the letter is to be written will have a number of other letters to read at the same time. If your formal letter is too long, the recipient, recipient might not read it and it will end up in a B. Hence, the letter should be short enough so that the reader can read it in a few seconds rather than minutes. The writer must be specific in his purpose for writing and should stick to the point. There is no need to add irrelevant details and the use of long words and flowery language. Avoid repetition as much as possible. Grammar and spell, spell check. A letter that is full of mistakes creates a bad impact on the reader and will decrease the chances of getting a response back. Therefore, it is advised to use a spell checker in your computer. In other cases, use a good dictionary to check spellings. Also, look for errors related to grammar. Now you can ask someone to check it for you. Punctuation and sentence structure should be revised. If required, write the letter again in case of several mistakes. Accurate tone of language. While writing a formal letter, one should be careful about the tone and use of appropriate language. For this purpose, slangs and colloquial language should be avoided. Similarly, contractions and subjective language should not be used. The tone used should be courteous and respectful. Therefore, a formal letter should be written while following certain rules and appropriate use of tone and language to increase the chances of getting a response from the reader. Summing up, we can have a table with difference between formal and informal letters. Format. Written for objective format, professional communication, personal communication. Written and pre pre prescribed format only, no prescribed format. Written in first person, business letters, third person, others. First, second or third person. Written to business, college institute, uh, employer, organizations, etc. Friends, family, acquaintances. Voice, passive. In personal communication, you use active. Sentences, long and complex. In professional communication, in personal communication, you use short and simple. Size of professional communication, concise. Large, if we take um, personal communication, it, it must be large or concise. Contractions and abbreviations. Uh, in prof professional communication, they are avoided. In personal com communication, they are used. And here are some phrases that can be also useful for writing a formal letter. Official, uh, официальное обращение к получателю. Address the recipient in a formal manner. Dear sir and madam, дорогой сэр, обращение к или мадам, к женщине, как мы уже говорили об этом ранее. В первом абзаце укажите цельное описание письма. Не используйте глаголов в сокращенной форме. I'm writing in connection with to ask about. Я пишу в связи с для того, чтобы узнать, спросить. I have read, found your advertisement in and would like to... Я прочитал, нашел ваше объявление и хотел бы... I'm interested in... Меня интересует... I would like to know more details about... Я бы хотел узнать... Больше деталей о. I would like to ask further information about concerning. Я бы хотел узнать, спросить дополнительную информацию о или информацию, относящуюся. I would like to ask if, when, why, where. Я бы хотел спросить, возможно ли, если, когда, почему, где. I look forward to your answer, to hearing from you. Жду с нетерпением вашего ответа. Конец письма в соответствующей форме. В форме, если письмо начинается со слов «Dear sir or madam», то письмо нужно закончить фразой «Yours faithfully» – «Искренне ваш, с уважением». Если письмо начинается «Dear Mr. or Mrs. Wilson», тогда письмо, тогда письмо заканчивается «Yours sincerely». Well, that is all for today. Thank you all for your attention. Remember all the rules of writing formal letters and you will succeed i'm sure our webinar is over thank you my thank you very much goodbye